All right, we're going to make that blended conceptual mass. So I'm going to go to New Conceptual Mass, start a new one. And what you get is a center front back reference plane, a left right. Oh, sorry, that's a center front back. That's the left right. And then you also get a level one. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to level one. I'm going to create some new reference planes. And to do this, I'm going to pick on one of the existing reference planes, hold down the control key while the move the hover move is on, and then just left click, hold it down, and drag up. So hover, select it, hover over it till the move, hold down the control key, press down on your left click, hold it down, and drag up. So that just makes new planes, new reference planes, or whatever you pick. Then I'm going to name them. This one 1, select it, name that one 2, select that, and name that one 3. And this one already has a name because it came in with Revit, and that's the front and back. So the next thing I'm going to do is go into my south elevation and look at all of these that way. So if I go to south, there I am. I can't see the planes because they're perpendicular to me, um, but I can set them. So I can set, if I click on set, I can come in here and set reference plane 1 current, right? And then I can go to reference and I'm going to make a reference line here, and I want it to draw on the work plane here. And I'm going to confirm that reference plane 1 is set currently. And I'm just going to come over here and draw some kind of shape, right? So I'll draw that shape. And then I'm going to go to my reference plane 2, and I'm going to do a rectangle. And I'll draw a rectangle here. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my reference plane 3. And I'll draw another line. All right, so I don't know, something a little different maybe. And you want to make sure these are closed. And then um, I'll go to my reference center front back. And I'll just go back to my 3D view from here and maybe show you one other thing. So this is my center front back. There are the things that I created on all those planes. I'm going to make a copy of this onto the center front back. And to do that, you can left click on this reference plane, which will make it current. You can go to the select. And I'm going to pick reference and select. And then you can see when I hover over, the blue lines are projecting to the current plane. So if I just hover over one and tab select and left click, it will project those lines up there. Right? So now I've got those lines. I can lock them to that reference plane. Um, which is fine. The reference plane's not really going to move, but so now I have these three these pieces, and if I want to blend them, I can pick two of them and go to create form, and it'll blend between those. Because I use reference lines, they're still available for me to pick, so I can create between those two, and then I can create between those two. So now I have this sort of form that I'm working with. I can come in and move these reference planes, and the form will follow it. I can also, to some extent, if I let's go to wireframe, right? If I come in, I can tab select. Let's see if I can tab select in there and get just that, and I could change that to like you know 30, right? And that will pull that down. I can also, it's not going to let me, looks like it's not going to let me pull that up, right? So I'm just going to cancel that. But you can move like the rectangles and stuff around the edges and it will accommodate that. So if I tab select in here, move that out, you can see that that's updating, right? So you have some leeway to move these things about, okay? So go back to shaded. Now, once you have this, um, we can do some other things with it, and we'll talk about that in the next video.